Well, uh, Jesse is, um, I guess, both in the movie and in the TV series. I connected with her <laughs> because um, she just, I, th I think it was because of her, the team uh, energy that she had with Team Rocket, I think because they played off each other so well. I didn't relate to her as easily, but because of that dynamic, I got into her character more. And I love backstory episodes, so whenever we found out more about her, I enjoyed that, so it helped me. And with Misty, Misty's the youngest of four girls. I'm the youngest of six girls, so that completely made sense to me at the get-go. In fact, when we first meet Misty's sisters, they're being, you know, mean to her. <laughs> and um, the director said, okay, Misty's sisters are mean to her. And I said, yeah, I got this. <laughs> but it was not, not that my sisters were always mean to me, but you know how this whole sibling dynamic works. But yeah, I would say those are the, those are the ways I did. For me, um, the first three words that Mewtwo speaks are, who am I? And that's really what my journey's been about. And he becomes a spiritual character. He becomes someone who actually literally roams his world and tries to figure out why he's created. And he's very angry about it. And I've had many angry moments in my life. But mostly what grounds me is my, my connection spiritually to something bigger than myself. And I think that's what he finds along the way. And for someone who's you know born angry and somewhat evil and malicious, to find something that's higher than himself is quite profound, and I'm very grateful to be a part of his journey. So my connection, let's see. I went to a school that was really funky and hippy-dippy and whatever, and we used to play sports against very, very posh private schools. And so my connection with James at first was to figure out a way to be one of the Crane brothers, Frazier, Niles, and James. Um, I was sort of playing on that, but his personality, I felt like Team Rocket's comedy. I related to that. To make friends in school, I was the new kid in school. My thing was, if I can make people laugh, maybe I'll make friends. That was my, my entree. So I loved the comedy. I felt like Team Rocket didn't really care what else was going on in the episode. My job for those short moments when we appeared um, alongside Rachel is I'm going to make you laugh. So I loved that part of him. I loved his witty lines that were designed for the parents that had to bring their kids to see the Pokemon movie, which you are now discovering what the double entendres were that I was saying now that you're an adult. Um, not things that were inappropriate, but things that were definitely, ah, now I get it. And as for Brock, being a boy in high school, distracted by shiny things, well, that's pretty much life imitating art. I can relate. I think what, what appealed to me about Ash was just that he was overall positive and gung-ho, and he just did it. And I love that. I played a lot of sports when I was growing up and through college and I thought that just how athletic he was and kind of fallible I just I really loved that I think he he is all of us and it was lovely to play him and jump into those sneakers how do we cha channel them yeah I think all the characters we play have a little bit of any actor right you want to bring your personality to it a piece of that um, I, I, especially with these characters um, there are definitely parts of me in all of the characters that I voice. I mean, Brock, as I said, you know, I could definitely relate to that. But I think we all have different approaches to how we act, right? How we do that. Um, I draw from my reality. I definitely do that. Same here. Exactly what he said. That, that would be the same for me. And, and I was feeling particularly lonely at the time, so that was why. Oh. Just broken up from a relationship, and I, you know, Mewtwo was very much there, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, um... You, you uh, don't have, I think in this particular instance, in this particular job, in my experience, we didn't have a lot of raw material to work from. I didn't get a lot of descriptions. So it was really step by step, scene by scene, line by line. And I don't think the production team knew a lot about it no. at the beginning. Yeah. So we all found out together. So it was almost like an ensemble effort to figure out who these characters were. And you're really playing the moment from the script, looking at the picture, and trying to just fill the moment. So 